This is JT. Welcome to Body Weight Strength. In this video, what we're going to do is progress our ring rows to fully suspended ring rows. It means you're going to be taking your feet off of any chair or stool or surface that may be supporting a percentage of body weight, and you're going to be pulling the entirety of your body weight utilizing the pulling musculature of the upper body. This is gonna be the closest that I found to mimicking a heavy bent over barbell row in a standard gym. And one of the things I like about this compared to that heavy barbell row is that you're not supporting the weight like you would a heavy barbell um, with the lumbar spine with the lower back. So I've had lower back issues in the past. Um, I find that these are very, very easy on the low back and it's one of the reasons that I really like them while still allow you to get some outstanding rowing work to complement the pulling work that you're doing when training the posterior of the body. So these are one of my favorites. I think you're gonna dig them. Let's get to the demonstration. I like to grip the rings up the sides a little bit. Um, you know, at probably four o'clock and like seven or eight o'clock if, if these were clocks. When you hang, you're, you'll slide down a little bit, but it's a much more comfortable position on the palm than if you grab them at six o'clock. So grab the rings, you're going to protract the scapula. So you want to basically come down all the way and then you 90 degree angle with the legs and then pull nice and slow and controlled. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, that's not a very technical movement, basically keeping the body as close to 90 degrees as possible. If those are too easy for you, then it's really, really simple to scale it for intensity. Just take the angle that you're at, which is 90 degrees, and open it up a tiny bit. And just moving the feet a little bit further away from the center of gravity is going to make that movement much harder on the rest of the body. So 90 degree rows, will give you a really good, a really good pulling, really good rowing motion. And if you need to scale it, just go greater than 90 degrees and uh, you should be good on that for a while. From here, we're gonna get into one arm ring rows, which are outstanding um, and are a really good way to start introducing unilateral pulling motion that will carry over to helping you do one arm pull-ups eventually. Um, so that's what will come next in this series. For now, work on those 90 degree ring rows and uh, build strength and we'll see you in the next video.